Uh, hey everybody, it's the program. Hey, we are in upside down land. We're on TV. For a minute. Yeah. So it, it was so bright behind us, we closed the the door because uh, all you would see is our dark silhouetteness. Oh. Silhouetteness. Yeah, that's all you'd see. It's so. Monday. Yes, it is Monday, May twenty third. Something like that, I don't know. Day after Earth Day, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I know a lot of people have been talking about, I'll save the Earth. The Earth. I must save the Earth. And it's like, well, that requires you to use fewer plastic bags, uh, walk more instead of drive, ride a bike, um... Don't buy plastic crap. Yeah. Don't buy crap with packaging. You just have to kind of change your life lifestyle. Your life file. I don't know if anybody's going to do that, yeah. <clears throat> um, I do. I do. I Like, it takes me a, will, a week to build up enough garbage to take the garbage out. I wow. Ri- yeah, I recycle uh, an ass ton or an ass load or a shit load. One of them. Depends on how much it is. Apparently, there are ratios of each other. Mostly you uh, recycle all your garbage, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it's paper or cardboard, I can recycle that. And I think I've told you about this before, but I don't think recycling is real. I think uh, maybe they, when you put it in the recycling bins, they just throw it all in the dump anyway because they don't want to take care of it. When they, you know, they tell you they're going to recycle it and whatever, but I think they just pick it up and throw it back in the dump. On the other well, end. Well, uh... If it's not real, yeah, then I'm doing all that I can do. Yeah, yeah, that's all I can do. If it is real, then I'm doing all that I can do. So in either case, I'm going to continue what I'm doing. If I knew for sure mm-hmm. that they were just taking the recycle stuff and landfilling it, you know, just putting it under the ground, uh, yeah, but I've seen and talked to plenty of people that, uh, talk about how the recycling center that's at the landfill is real. Well, yeah, there's this huge conveyor, and there's a bunch of well, I don't know if they're Mexicans or not. <laughs> there's low-paid workers, oh. <laughs> sadly, that what they do is they separate the plastic. Oh yeah, like uh, oh. well, what they'll do is they'll grab all the cans and they'll knock the cans into this bin behind them. Right? They just grab the bins and knock them off. As the stuff rolls by, and some other guy takes all the milk jugs and knocks it behind him into a bin, right? Because they just go scoop, 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 and it's all behind him. Some napkins. These are napkins? Are these recycled They're napkins? Car, car wipes, I guess. Look. Car wipes? Why, You're you not think, a car. You think it's better to our people just throw stuff in the garbage, but then they end up burying it anyway? Wouldn't it be better just to bury your own garbage? No. Instead of putting it in the landfill, though? If they're going to put it in the landfill, why don't, you just, why don't, everybody, why don't we just stop going to the landfill and just start well, spreading it out? The landfill, uh, they take a lot of time and effort now to separate the shit out so that um, hazardous and toxic chemicals don't go in the ground, right? Everything from, uh, you know, uh, cleaning products to car lubricants to, uh, you know, um, cleaners and waxers and just all kinds of weird chemicals and stuff that we use. Yeah. Concentrated chemical where, where, concoctions. Where does all that stuff come from? It's so bad for the environment. Well, okay, listen, listen. Uh, a tiny bit of ammonia, right, yeah. uh, is okay, but concentrated ammonia in a jug is not okay. Right? A little bit of salt sprinkled around, that's okay. But uh, a container of salt is not okay. Uh, a few drips of oil, not a big problem. Uh, used motor oil, half a gallon or two gallons. I mean, how many? Yeah, two gallons. Because the car will take, you know, four or five quarts. Four quarts is a gallon. So, 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 so that's the problem. It's not really that the 
chemical itself is all that bad is just that it's in such a large amount in a concentrated space that it it's um, nature can't decompose it fast enough mm. that's all you know so uh, you know turpentine <laughs> you know you can inhale a few fumes and be okay but you can't drink it so Earth Day that, was yesterday okay for, for us that's all I'm saying that was not for the viewers that was for us yesterday yeah I didn't even realize I didn't even do anything yeah Phillips is a Dutch major big huge giant Dutch uh, industrial company and they came out with a 20 year LED light bulb yeah yeah it's supposed to last like uh, uh, I think 35,000 hours or something 40,000 hours and it's like uh, it's uh, equivalent to a 100 watt light bulb and it lasts That's for a regular years. one yeah if you keep it on well what they say if you keep it on four hours a day yeah then it will last for 20 years four hours isn't very long no <laughs> No, it's not very practical. They're kind of, they're kind of, kind of. Uh, eight hours is a little bit more realistic. That's still ten years. Yeah, ten year light bulb. Yeah, I'm liking that. And they're selling them for fifty bucks. Wow. And they're giving bucks. rebates to all kinds of like uh, utility companies, <clears throat> so people can get them for twenty five. How long do those um, twisty ones? How long do they supposed to last? Well, they used to say five years. Yeah. But they're full of crap. They don't last five years. Uh, uh, the bulb usually outlasts the ballast. Yeah. Yeah, because the ballast has got to take the 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 uh, the amperage and the voltage and change it so that it can send a high voltage through that tube. But it'll last for at least like two or three years, right? Well, I think it's just like the LED. It just depends on how long you have it on. Yeah. Also, uh, power surges, like we get, we'll get little power surges from time to time. They blow them, not blow them out. Yeah, yeah, that breaks them. <laughs> that breaks them. What about that? Is it going to break those LEDs too, though? I would think so, yeah. unless there's some sort of a modulator in there. So I think those those twisty ones last long enough so that if you bought, because they're only a dollar a piece. Now they are. I remember when they were like five, six bucks. Yeah, so I think if you bought 50, I think if you bought 50 of those, twisty like bulbs that might be a better deal than one LED bulb. Well, the other the other thing too is the LED bulb that's 100 watts only uses 4 watts of power. You know, what would be a 100 watt light bulb, it's only using 4 watts. So so well, there is that. The what about twi the twisty ones though? Uh, somewhere usually depending on their wattage, like a 100 watt uh, bulb is like 20 watts, 22. So it it's still a quarter of that even then. Well, they still call it 100 watts even though it's less watts? Well, it's a uh, 100 watt equivalent is what they say. And what you really should look at is the lumens. And lumens is, uh, you know, one lumen equals one candle flame or something like that or half a candle flame. or it's A lumen is a, it's a metric of light. It's a measure of light. And uh, they used to say, oh, this such and such thing, this light bulb is so many candles. Uh, but like the imperial system, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, e it's not equivalent to anything. Like in metric, uh, you can have a measurement uh, in mass and volume and force. Yeah. Uh, and they're all equivalent to each other. Like uh, one centiliter is one cubic centimeter, and it weighs one gram. Of water? Yeah. 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 If you had a little, uh, it's about the size of a sugar cube, too. I, right. I remember that. I remember learning about it in science. Yeah. Yeah. Like a well, cc. We should, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cubic centimeter. It, we should use Need that. five cc's. We should, whoa. Getting a phone call? Uh, no, that was not me. Oh, I should, uh, Maybe that's you, but. Yep. Yeah. It's not me. So <clears throat> so we should use metric all the time. We should stop using inches and yards and pounds and feet and stuff. We should use hectares and kilometers and... and uh, yeah, maybe go back to Canada. We're the only country on the earth left using inches and pounds. Because we're Americans. Yeah, well, it's stupid. No, you That's can go back I to say. Canada, Dan. Pardon? 
you can go back to Canada if you don't like the uh, I am. American. I'm, I'm going to Canada in June. I'm going to go see my sister for a week. You're going to go see your sister using the metric system? Oh, yeah. It, I, I Here's a, everybody yeah. get a pen. You heard that, that sound. Metric is... Oops. The time, time means time for the dice game. Oh, is this silver? Yes. Ooh, silver. Silver. Oh. All right, uh, yeah, write, write the number down. We're going to play this dice game here. Uh. Did you, uh... Was there that? we go. Oh, we wrote the same number. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to roll it's the It's a thing. magic number, man. Okay, I'll hold the cam I'll hold the camera. Oh, okay. You think, was it uh, confusing when you were a kid to go... To go into the oh oh we won it yeah we won did you see that yeah see what oh, I can't see it's too dark for that but we both have three we both won we both picked the same number that's good we both picked we the number we both won yeah we're winners we are winners today was that weird to go when when you were a kid to go into the uh, American system after living in Canada well it was funny it was really bizarre because I grew up right yeah. Uh, I started going to school in almost 1970, uh -huh. right around there, I think 69, 68, 69, uh, and it was the imperial system, right, the uh, bushels and pounds and feet and miles. Bushels? And, yeah, bushel. That's the American system, it's, though. It is a, no, 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 that's, that's imperial system. Okay, what's a bushel? A bushel? I don't know. It's like two and a half of those is a um, a thousand kilos, which is weight. A bushel, a bushel. I think, I think I would have to look it up. I think it's a it's a measure. I'm not sure if it's a measure of volume or or mass. Volume or mass. Kenny is a car. You yeah. are a car. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're being buffed. So you're getting buffed up. So they they had the system. So, so so it was the imperial system up until 1974, 75. So up until I got into like fifth grade, it was all imperial, and there was a discussion of metric, but it wasn't, uh, you know, it was just a discussion. And then Canada decided to be metric. The government says, hey, everybody, in two years, we are going metric all the way. Yeah, and we did. And so we started having to learn metric. And I, dis I discovered quite quickly that it is a lot simpler and easier and more universal and consistent. And uh, it's digital. It's like, it's like you know, uh, three feet in a yard. Uh... Yeah, uh, I mean, it's all five thousand two hundred and eighty feet in a mile. It's like what? What? Why did they do that in the first place? Uh, because they're stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, they just uh, it. Our measuring system, or the the uh, the the imperial measuring system, just kind of kind of evolved into existence, right? Uh, there were things that were so many hands, like. A horse is so many hands high. That's how horses horses height are measured. And a hand is like six and a half inches or four and a half inches or five inches or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Somewhere along the way, some dude says, Hey, how big is your horse? And he says, Well, twenty of these. Yeah. Oh, okay, hands, and then hands becomes a standard measurement. But what if big tall dude is measuring the horse, right? Big hand yeah. big hand man. Right, it's only going to be 15 hands uh, next to Mr. Midget dude, who has small hands, and uh, there you are. You know, um, same size horse, uh, different kind of measurement. So they started just standardizing things. Yeah. So a bushel, uh, you know, a bushel of wheat or a bushel of corn, uh, ended up being some standardized size unit amount. Uh, I think it's a volume. I think I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, of a grain were, product. Were people mad when they switched over to metric? you remember that? Oh, yeah. Old people freaked out because they can't take change. Yeah. Change is too hard. I don't want change. Ooh. But yeah. they were, so some people were upset I, about it? You know, I'm change is hard, and I sympathize, but some certain kinds of changes are really, really important and necessary. And uh, uh, it's just 
they don't like it because it's inconvenient, not because it will, you know, hurt them in any way, not because they're going to lose their jobs or have, have their pay downsized. For instance, uh, one thing that the oil companies just loved is that <clears throat> gallons no longer, gallons don't exist in metric. Mm -hmm. No such thing as gallons. But there is a liter, and a liter, four of them make up a gallon, uh, only slightly less than a gallon, or slightly more, I think it's slightly more. It's like it's like 4.04 .04 liters is a gallon, or or 3.98 or something. Yep. It's very very close to a gallon. Well, what happens is the oil company stopped selling gas in gallons and they sold them in liters. Yeah. Okay. And they kind of changed the price. The price suddenly went up when it went to liters because it's a smaller measure. Uh, but it's like okay, you're going to get a hundred liters of gas and. Uh, I think at the time gas was like say two bucks a gallon. I think, say it was a buck fifty a gallon. And so if you divide, well, let's say it was two bucks, you divide it and it would be fifty cents a gallon or fifty cents a liter, right? Four yeah. into a gallon. Well, they they started charging sixty cents a liter. That's what they did. They just kind of raised the price a little bit, even though the units of gas were smaller. So they raised the price. So, so, so they're bastards, and I hate them. And that's what they did. That's what happens if you go to metric system. You pay for more gas. Maybe. Well, the, you know, companies do that. You Take know, like chocolate whatever. bars. When I was a kid, chocolate bars were, were really, uh, you know, they were large and delicious. And then uh, over time, I would see a chocolate bar get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And the price was the same. So... So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what they do, and they're evil, and we hate them all. We hate, we hate them. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so, uh, uh, metric is the, it's the measure of science. All sciences use metric. What all about American scientists? Yes, they use metric. Oh. All American science is in kilometers and grams and dimes and... And uh, uh if we went to metric, what about all the screws and stuff, you know? Quarter inch screws, eighth inch screws. Uh, they would just be eight, eight eight mi We're already using them. All the Japanese cars are made in metric. European cars are made in metric. Mm. Uh, so many. It's only the American cars that are not made in metric. And so American cars can't be sold anywhere in the world unless they're made in metric. And uh, we just don't roll that way because we got to be individualists. We have to be mavericks. We have to stick to the old stupid way, stupid. Yeah. Yes, I mock it because it really is It really is dumb. It really is. There's no reason we can't do it. And I'm sure people would make all kinds of money if we did. No one would lose their job. Well, maybe maybe Mr. Mr. Uh, imperial lobbyist, yeah. Imperial unit uh, lobbyist, yeah. What? He loses his job. Yeah, I wonder who's fighting for the other way. I know just, I it's, just, it's just that they res resist change. They don't want change. Oh, did I do that? Maybe. Oh, there you go. Look at the birds. So, so I ran into a friend named Larry. And uh, my friend Larry, uh, I've known him since I was working at the Capitol Clubhouse back in 97, 98. Mental health. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, when I uh, ran the mental health program. And uh, um, he was all right. He was a caregiver. That's what he did. He, he uh, would take or care or of orderly. different people. Well, no, no. They go into your home and they help you cook. They help you clean. They help okay, you. Okay, yeah. You know, they help you do stuff. You know, yep. regular life activities. That sort Helper. Of mm -hmm. Yep. And they get paid for that. <coughs> and... Um, so I've known him for a long time, and uh, he has had the worst breath I've ever smelled, Ooh. ever, all the time. Oh no! He has. Does he have a problem? I don't know. It's this. Is he a smoker? He. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, smoking, drinking a lot of beer. Uh, he loves garlic. Ooh! <laughs> wow. And I don't think he brushes his teeth, and I think he just had like four or five bad teeth. And that'll give you bad breath, too. Oh, man. Here's a commercial bad break. Bad teeth. Bad breath.
Welcome back. There's the cat, everybody, over there. It's an upside-down cube. Well, it's a reversed an upside-down cube. Cube? Q. The Q. Oh, the Q, yeah. Q, the, see, and then the the W and the M could be an M and a W and the H. And, you know, if you switch that around, uh, M those w letters. H. Yeah, yeah. Those. I think the D is the only thing. What about the Y is not upside-down? Well, no, if you reversed it, right? Oh, yeah. You flipped it around or went upside down. If you went upside down, the Y would be confusing. Uh, and if you reversed it, the D would be confusing. That's the only way that you would know. Well, what were you going to say about your friend with bad breath there? Oh, well, anyway, so he's had the worst breath. That's how I remember him. You know, it's like, oh, Larry. Oh, I heard yeah. you remember smells. I can't, yeah. I can't stand more than two feet. Any closer than two feet because People it's have bad, so terrible. Or smells is the, the thing that you remember the most. I heard that somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's really intense. He's not a bad guy. Uh, but every time I'd run into him, he'd talk about the same thing. Yeah. Hey, I want to get together with you. and I want you to help me do a video. He wants to hang out, yeah? Well, he wants me to help him do a thing. Every time. It's a always video the same thing. thing. Yeah, he wants me to help him do a thing. And, uh, but you don't want to do it? It's a video project. You don't uh, want to smell him. He wanted me to do it for him. Okay, yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. So anyway, so he had a brain tumor. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I walked. Uh, I was walking into grocery outlet, the Geo, gross out. And uh, I was walking in there, and I see him, and he's shuffling, a, he's shuffling along, and his, hair, his head was shaved. It was starting to come back. Yeah. And uh, his beard was trimmed, which was uh, nice. That was, that was good. It looked good. And uh, he's shuffling along, and he had one of his arms. Uh, he had this belt-like thing, and it had a it had a kind of a, a leather manacle in it that was holding his. Uh, yeah, that's good. It was holding his arm, and uh, it was holding his arm in place. And and uh, and he was really slurry talking. He's like, oh, 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 yeah. And I'm like, Larry. And he's like, yeah, I had a brain tumor. Blah blah blah. They just operated two weeks ago. <clears throat> and, uh, Ooh. and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so, uh, you know, what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, it's like, you made him slurry. Did he ask you about the video again anyway? No, um, no. He kind of a little preoccupied with his own mortality. Yeah. So, so, uh, he, uh, he's like, oh man, I'm glad to be alive. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> well, brain tumors. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird. It made me think. Why I, was his arm strapped to his side? Was I don't know. Did he, did he lose his arm? Was going to be flopping around otherwise? I wonder. I wonder if he lost m mobility in his in his uh, left side or something. Because, you know, it just depends on where the brain tumor is. If it's anywhere near a motor co cortex for, you know, some sort of voluntary movement, yeah, you're not going to be able to use your a limb. Ooh. Now, you can retrain your limbs. Uh you can retrain them. Uh, another part of your brain will learn how to use it. Our brains do that. Uh, I've read all kinds of stuff about how uh, a person can learn to walk and talk and, and uh, do all kinds of stuff again. Uh, just a different part of the brain starts doing it, figures it out, learns it. If, if the brain damage is severe enough, that won't really happen. But if it's... Uh, it's uh, if it's mild, if it's uh, if it's small and localized, uh, it could just happen. Freaky. It could happen to you. Maybe that guy's got a. Maybe he wasn't brushing his teeth to get rotten teeth, and then you get infections in your brain. Well, actually, no. It it damages your heart. Your teeth? Yeah, yeah. Bacteria like you have one layer of bacteria when you don't brush your teeth after like six hours or something like that. You get one layer of bacteria, and that bacteria is not harmful. But then. Uh, level 2 bacteria comes in and starts eating level 1 bacteria the first time. Ooh. Level 2 bacteria is harmful. That's what puts holes in your teeth. And that, that, that part of what hap happens to is some of the bacteria, uh, in order pr to protect itself, it forms a spore. It turns itself into a spore. And if you have any kind of cut in your mouth yeah. of any kind, 
then those spores get into your bloodstream and they, over time, clog your heart. Ooh. Yep. Yep. It's, I've read about this uh, uh, repeatedly. So people with really bad dental hygiene, right? They get the gingivitis and their gums bleed and they have all kinds of... Your heart problems. Yep. For sure. That's scary. For sure. Yep. You can look it up yourself. You can find out for yourself. Do your own research. Yeah, that's pretty And if I'm wrong, you should call and say, Dan, you're wrong. You're a jerk <laughs> for being wrong. Yeah. Wow. Well, so. hey, let's call. We'll check the messages here. I'm going to call the machine here and see who uh, left the messages for us today. Uh, you don't have the computer to, to call here, huh? I gotta use my phone. I gotta use my minutes up on the. Ah, uh, that sucks. Is yours pay as you go? Yep. Or do you get so many minutes per like? I do pay as you go. What kind is your phone? Net ten. Net ten. Okay. Mine's a track phone. Pay as you go. I text a lot though with it. I text a huge amount with it. Canadian miss, it's like you are. That's some liquor. Yeah, I get misty. Canadian miss. Mist? What the hell kind of name is that? Blended Canadian whiskey. Yep. You drink, they drink a lot of whiskey out in Canada? Yeah, when I was a teenager. And uh, I, threw up, I threw up a lot of whiskey too. Oh. Drink too much. Got I'm too drunk. Sorry. It was stupid. The person you called has a voicemail box that is returning to voicemail. Hmm. To return this call, that didn't press work. two. To mark this message as read, press message archive. Next message from unknown caller. Pocket dial. You know what that is? Maybe. Does it sound like Freddy? Oh yeah, let's call this person back. Calling unknown caller. When finished, press star to return to your messages. Where, who Is Freddy a known caller? Mm, no, I don't know Is how that works. Everyone a known caller? I think everybody's unknown. Well, unless you like type their name in somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where. Where that would go, even though. Hello. Hello. It's the program. Oh hi. Yeah, you called us, or your pocket called us. We we think. We think. Yeah, that's my dad. Who is this? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yeah. Well. Like the actor. Really? No, no. The going on with this. The what? All right. Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey okay. Bogart. Hey, so if you called the show. Did you do that on purpose or did you sit on your phone? What? Did you call us on purpose? Yes. Oh. Halfway oh, we're halfway. The phone call. We're halfway through the program. You know what that means? Not yet. Well, we're halfway. No. You know what that means? Dice. It's time for the dice game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pick gotta a pick a number. Pick Between a number. One and six. Seven. Yeah. Between one and six. Seven. No, one and six. Seven. Between one and six. Seven. That's to be lower than seven. All right, orange milkshake. No, lower than seven. But between one, and, you, your choices are one, two, three, four, five, or six. All right. Uh, Yoshimi Bell, Pink Robot. No, no numbers. I think this is the dude that oh. moans on the phone. Numbers. Numbers between one and six. Seven. No, no, lower than seven. Orange milkshake. No, a number. Yellow. No, a, a number. Seven. 
No, be, 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 below the seven. No cause, he has the grid. No, numbers. Seven. No, below seven. Yellow. You're gonna lose the game. You're gonna lose unless you choose a number. Yeah, you have to choose a number. Between you really, one you don't want to disqualify yourself. You don't want to. Don't you want to experience winning? That's gonna go, Dad. You gonna go? Yeah. You're gonna go without experiencing winning? That's not a. You're not. There's not gonna be a seven. You could win. You could totally win. You don't have that many chances. Oh, he hung up. I think that's the moaner. I think we're talking to the moan man. Well, uh, let's roll a dice. The pocket here. dial. Okay, hold on. Press one. To place a call, press two. There's the dice. You can roll it. Change your settings. Press four. I'm sorry. I can catch that. Uh oh. Well, I got a four. Well, we didn't get a second point. There may be some viewers out there. Maybe you got a point. Yeah. Did you pick a four? Which one is it? This one. That guy did not. Oh. <laughs> That guy, I think it was the yellow guy. I think your phone is making a noise. He did not win the game. That guy lost the game. It's funny. He went from seven to orange milkshake to Humphrey Bogart to yeah. yellow to seven to orange milkshake. Not picking the number. He's trying to mess with us. Dude, you're so patient with him. I oh. would have started calling him a, a bad name. He was close. Uh, I thought maybe he would get it. I think we eventually just keep repeating. You know, I'm just trying to help people. You're daily hour with me. Leave a message. Can I access your account? I'm trying to facilitate winning, but he doesn't want to do it. If you don't want to win, you don't have to win. You could lose. To access the main menu at any time, press star. First new message from unknown caller. Oh, that's the same one, right? Yeah. Message archived. Next message from unknown caller. Is that a friendly neighborhood breather? Yeah. I think that was him. Hi, your daily hour with Ian. I am leaving a message on... Is that Sean? Thursday. Oh, it's Scott. April 18th. Oh, it's Scott tried to call us a while ago, but we've been trying to call him back. Hey, we're calling Scott again. This is like the... We've been trying to call him for a while. We're supposed to be going to his storefront on Friday, I, th I think. Storefront? He's got a storefront. He's opening a store in downtown Olympia. Really? Where Reggie's Records used to be. Where what records? Reggie's Records. It's like on, uh, I think it's on 4th. Is that near Danger Room? Um, it's, or maybe is it, is it 5th? It's, uh, n it's by the, the, it's by that, the, uh, that, the Y care place, you know, and like, there's a little park, a little, like, little kids park, are there? Hey, Scott, it's the program. Uh, give us a call back. I heard about the storefront thing. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, tell us all about it. Yeah, it's the storefront. It's, outside. it's by there, out there by, uh, yeah, on 4th, like I said there. Here, let's call Freddy, the producer, see how he's doing today, see if he can answer the phone. I think he tried calling back. At least that's what my phone said. When you're trying to find uh, um, your, your uh, scale. Yeah. From Lewis. We could try to call Lewis, too. Maybe he knows about the scale. Yeah. Yeah, so those those of you who don't know about it, um, uh, our mutual friend, Aviva, lived in a house that's actually not very far from here, physically. And um, she moved to L.A. And she wanted to ship a bunch of her stuff hey, instead. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. Hey, Freddy. Oh, it's the program. Hey, we can be on the program, you guys. Oh, I hear it. Here. What? Yeah, what? On. We're out. I'm with Desmond. We're outside. Can I come stay along the program? Hey. Hey. on TV right now. Who's that? That's Kayla. <laughs> Kayla? Hi, Kayla. How are you? Yeah. No! Oh, sorry. It's hot outside. You're in the uh, sun? You guys out in the sun? Yeah, look at this over here. See how bright it is? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of lumens. Yeah. There's some people on their roof. Uh, sun in. They are sun in. You're on a roof? No, we're not. We're, we see some people 
people on there on a roof. Okay. In the car, I guess. What it, are they doing up there? It is hot outside. Is that Dan? Oh, it's Dan Bennett. Look, look at it. Dan, are you at the studio or can he come to you? No, I'm at the studio. Yeah. At the studio. Hey, oh, Dan, yeah, get. Do any of your friends want to come on tomorrow, Freddy? Maybe Desmond or anyone. Want to be on TV tomorrow? What time? In the afternoon. Okay. Or, uh, or actually, whenever. I think tomorrow after the day off. Wait, let me see. I'm going to tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow evening. Evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I might do that too. That come on the show. Well, you and you and Desmond. Yeah. I'm shooting with Uncle Dan tomorrow too, so uh Oh I wanna do that. Maybe we'll have to yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah come in we'll we'll go in the evening. In the ev in the evening. Evening. E evening. evening. Oh yeah. Big evening. Hey Freddie. Hey Freddie. Yeah. Uh we yeah. st we stopped by Aviva's looking for my scale and we just kinda sorta looked around but we couldn't find it. Oh yeah, do you know where that is? Um, I went and looked around for it too, and I couldn't, I couldn't find it either. But um, shit. It, uh, we, we need to talk to Spencer. I think Spencer knows who it is. Spencer Carroll. Spencer. Spencer yeah. Soon. Well, okay. Hey, yeah. uh, uh, how's the production end going there? Um, oh, production end's going good. Got episodes on TV for today, tomorrow, and then um, got commercials playing on those too. So that's that's good. Uh, Dan, I think. If you want to see TV, sometimes say you'll see yourself. Oh yeah, did you know about the, the commercials? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing yeah. those. Nice. Yeah, I saw some of them. Oh yeah, do you want to put the eight number of the program down so you can call some time? Yeah, tell Caleb the number. Oh yeah, do the number on the commercials? Well, that sounds good. So, you guys are going to be here tomorrow evening. Who are you going to bring, Desmond? Yeah, Desmond so far. We'll see who else. Uh, let's tell Caleb the phone number, that way you can stay on the show. Yeah, we'll give out the phone number on the commercial this time. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, tell Desmond it's good that he's feeling better. He was feeling crappy the other day. <laughs> Are you getting over a sick, he's getting over a sickness? Remember, it's pretty easy though. What? Five, three, six. Three, eight, eight zero. Three, eight, zero, two. Yeah. Call the number. Three there three, there it is. Three three zero five three six three eight zero two. Three three zero five three six three eight zero two. Yeah, maybe we should get a sign or something. Or we're gonna maybe you could paint. Dan was gonna paint us a thing. Maybe Can you paint us a thing with the phone number incorporated into it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Are you gonna keep that number forever? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Freddie, we should try to get a three six zero number. Still, we still haven't really done that. Okay, let's get one. And, you know, and, oh, I guess we should probably get a phone first, though. We don't even have a phone right now. Wait, we had that phone. Oh, yeah, we could use that. We could just put more minutes on that one. Oh, I think that's Yeah, we, gotta, we just got to get a program phone, I think. Yeah. Either that, yeah. Okay. Well, because we needed, we just, I would have needed the service. You, know? you got to pay for the service. We need a 360 number. Uh, uh, we're about okay. to get into the next commercial break, Freddy. All right, talk to you guys later. All right, thanks. Bye bye. Yeah, this is what it does before, right before getting the commercial break. It turns blue and it says stop, and then we'll go into the commercial break. So that's it, amazing. I'm watching that little tick move slowly. Is it, oh, can you actually see it move? Uh, no, it's just beyond my perception. But you look away and you look back, and it's slightly changed. Yeah, it's amazing. Immerse. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it Don't is. Don't the jet. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function.
Yeah, whoa. You got some crazy uh, reflections in your glasses there for a minute. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, he's got robot eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> so we're going to be uh, going to the TCTV studios, I think sometime in May, in the middle of May. Could you help us out with that, Dan? And you're an employee there. I think we talked about this yesterday. So what's what's? Oh, in the studio? Yeah, we're going to be trying to get the studio on, let's see, on, uh, I think we figured it out. Uh, it's going to be on the on, on the 10th, I think, on Thursday the 10th. Yeah, you could probably do that. We want to find uh, a crew or something. But, but we have to make sure that there is, uh, it's not taken already. Yeah, so we're going to try to get it. Should we try to, can we try to book it? You think we could call them or, or you, should we just wait and you can try, or you and Fred, or Freddie could try to book it on is your own your, Is your membership current? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Freddie, maybe Freddie, or you can do it then. Okay. <laughs> and then we can. I don't know if my membership is current, but we should try to get in there on one of those days. Yeah. And that's gonna be on the. Uh, that's gonna be on the six hundred episode six hundred. Oh yeah. 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 So we're gonna do that. That'll be fun. And you'll have to do six sixty six. Six sixty six. And have it dark. Uh, yeah, have it really dark with red lights and kind of. You think we should go back scary. to TCTV for 666? Have, have it scary looking. It's going to be in July. Or just have animals running around because, you know, it's a sign of the beast. Have a bunch of beasts running around. You know, 666. Gerbils, cats. 666. Yeah. 666. Lambs. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, hermit crabs. <laughs> Regular crabs. Um, yep. Yeah. Dogs. Dogs. Um... Giraffes. Potbelly pigs. Yeah, just naming, no, naming, naming, no, naming, giraffes. naming we can't, animals. We can't have ja giraffes in there. That's irresponsible. Yeah. They would get their head stuck in the grid. In the lights, yeah. Yeah. An elephant would be okay, however. They could fit in the door. I saw I, yeah, I saw karaoke only on TV. I was watching it. How did we do? It was uh, it was pretty good. I think it's, yeah. You guys... Uh, uh, talk a lot of the show. I mean, it could be. A, you, this is a talk show. This show we always talk about. On karaoke, always tune in. You and Robert talking all the time. You guys should. Uh, Who talks more? I think you. Oh, you're on the camera the whole time. That's, I think that's a little weird. When you're when you're on karaoke, only, so you're watching karaoke. I should some, get off camera. There's somebody. Think? There's somebody singing, but you're kind of off to the side, like right <laughs> right at the side of the screen. Kind of <laughs> dancing and <laughs> keep something up like mouth forward. Yeah, yeah. Yourself? I should probably get off camera. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was watching me on TV and thinking, hmm, I'm just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> what, are, what am I doing? But well, you're what kind of I watching them. And so it seems yeah. like the karaoke people are kind of like looking over. They're like, is that guy still watching me? It's like, I oh, know, they're already on TV, but you're... Yeah, I should get off camera. I, I think I'll do that from now on. Because I was... I just noticed that. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I can't tell what, what the camera can see. I can't see what the camera sees. Right, I just know that the camera is on. The only time camera number two, which is facing me. Oh, you guys have a monitor, huh? No, no. Well, we have a monitor, but it only shows us uh, the words. Oh, you should get a the monitor. Why don't you get a monitor? You have to have a video monitor. How could you do TV without watching what's happening? Well, it's the nature of our studio. We should have a monitor, but we don't. We we just don't have the outputs and the inputs. Yeah, we're always watching. This is what, if you're wondering what I'm looking at when we're doing the show, it's this. Oh, where is it? So we're just looking at ourselves. That's what the, that's the video of itself right there. So yeah, we're watching. We're just watching the. I'm just watching my own video here. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Oh yeah, see this? Whoa! Yeehaw! Hey, it's Angie. Do you know have you met Angie? Are you trying to meet Hello. Dan Bennett? Hello. I think you. Hi. She she's a nice to meet you here. Yeah, where's the other mic? Uh, here it is. Angie's been trying to meet you, I think, right? Yeah, definitely. Hi. Why did you want to meet him? Because he's always on the program. Oh, uh, okay. I've never met him. We've I was trying to... We've spoken on the phone a couple times. Yeah. I was trying to remember why. Why specifically. I don't mean to encroach. Oh, no. Encroaching. Yeah, it's hot outside, huh? It's gross out, yeah. Too hot? Too hot. Doesn't it get this hot in Chicago? It does get much hotter in Chicago, and it's gross. Is that why you got away from it then, huh? Is it more humid? Whoa. It's, it's a lot Is more humid, yeah. More humid there. All right. Ugh. Ugh, the heat. Yeah, where's your car, Kenny? It's uh, right there, isn't it? No. Yeah, it's parked in front. It's not there? No. What the? What? I mean, I didn't see it. It should be there. I didn't see it, it in the driveway. It's not in the driveway? 
Somebody stole my car out of the driveway? No, we would have, have heard my keys. that. We I, oh, heard yeah, it's it. too loud to move. I have my keys. We would have heard that. Is it not there? Oh, it's there. And you didn't see it. It freaked me out. I was like, oh, man, with my keys. Not, for some reason, I, I sometimes have a fear that somebody's going to steal the car, even though you can't do it, you know, but you just, like, leave things places. Yeah. You know, because happened to Lewis. You know, he was in, the, in his neighborhood. Lewis got his car stolen? He got he, but he, he got it back. But it took him, like, a month and a half. But, he, yeah, it, it got hot-wired. That's crazy. Was it broken? Did they break it? No, uh, it, was, it was still completely functional, and... But it got hot wired because the only thing I was missing was a panel from the bottom of it, though. But it's gonna be broken there and hot wired. It can happen. That sucks. Well, that's yeah. why I just leave my keys in the car. If someone wants it that badly, they can take you it. You leave your keys in the car? Yes, I do. Uh, don't say that on TV. <laughs> Zoinks? Especially. Somebody's gonna Whatever. steal your car, yeah. That would be kind of inconvenient, though, wouldn't it? It would be, but I mean, it's rather that than break in, I guess. My car what? just broke. That's yeah. what happened to it. It just broke. I mean, I think, I think our car might be on the way out anyway, but who knows? Oh, I'll all right. stop leaving the keys in it now that I said on TV, though. Yeah. One of the four viewers might come and take my car. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep no, it. actually, a lot of people watch this show. I was in Top Foods the other day, and uh, this this uh, person at the till said, Hi, Dan. Really? Uh, we, we have a lot of viewers. She watches huh. the show. Lots yeah. of people watch TV. Lots, lots of the, uh, lots of the youth. Show? I think I am I get less and less of that oh from the, okay. the m with the sock puppets and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I get less and less oh of yeah, that. You haven't been on it for a while, but I used to watch years. you before Couple I ever years. met you in person. I watched you on TV all the time when <laughs> I was a little kid. I, was I like had no, something. you know, it's so funny because I had no idea. I was kind of reaching out and trying to explain stuff and teach things and, and uh, talk about stuff that uh, is pretty important, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, None of your messages ever got across to me. I was just watching and kind of spacing <laughs> it. Up. Oh, God. I was, I was very young, though. I thought I always thought you guys were crazy. You and the prophet there. I watched you got that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we got a lot of viewers. Little. The youth, y the youth thinks maybe you and like lots of college students. They think that nobody watches TV <laughs> because they're they're in this like no TV like uh, zone, you know. Or they're like, oh, TV don't watch TV. We're not buying into the, m the man's media and stuff I, like that. I watch I watch three shows on TV, and otherwise I don't watch hardly any TV at all shows on the internet or yeah. yeah 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 me too yeah but lots of people are still cable watchers and those are you yeah. loyal viewers thanks for watching my friend jordan said he saw the show independently of me talking to him about it which Whoa. is always fun on tv really? yeah 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 actually I'm, i am a little bit surprised by the lack of uh i, I don't get recognized very much on the streets and I'm a, i know i'm a, uh broadcast around thurston county i don't really leave thurston county that much but i think they're just afraid to talk to him yeah because he's too big of a star yeah who would yeah. say anything they're intimidated I'd be intimidated. Yeah, me too. All right. <laughs> do, you have, do you have your phone on you, Angie? No, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. What happened? I dropped it in water. Oh, no. no. Your fancy phone? My fancy phone. What's oh. sitting in a bag of rice right now? This has happened before. And so it, it ended up working? It'll, it'll what kind of water did you drop it in? A glass of water. Just a glass? You were drinking water and you dropped it in there? It, well, it fell off of my dashboard into water that was sitting in the cup holder. Oh, man. I know. It's the second time this exact same thing has and happened. And it turned off? It stopped working? It stopped working um, like the... The microphone or the speaker thing doesn't work, but it'll work again once it dries out. So you you, you dropped yeah. it from the couple into the couple there before? Yes. Oh man. <laughs> so did you remove the battery and the chip so they it's could dry separately? It's an iPhone. You can't remove the battery. Oh. I know, but I just stick it in a bag Bastards. of rice. I know. I stick it in rice and then put it near the heater, and it seems to work out. Well, it's hot outside. Someone's getting a call. McDonald's call McDonald's. McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the orange milkshake, Arctic Orange? One second. Hello, my name is James. How can I help you? Uh, uh, James, you said? Yes. Jimmy? Can I call Jimmy? Oh, hey, Hi, do you guys have you? those orange milkshakes right now? The what? The orange milkshakes? Yes. You do? Arctic Orange? Oh, oh, not yet. No, not yet. Uh, just uh, like another week on that one. Oh, uh, you gonna get it next week? Yeah. You guys have a calendar or something? Uh, no, I just heard word about it, but we don't have it in yet, but we do expect to have it. What do you guys have right now? Uh, we don't have any special ones right now. Just the regular ones? Alright, I'm looking forward to that, no, that orange one. Yeah, not yet. Hey, do you... You guys just put the syrup in there. I want to see if you guys just put that high C syrup, you know, the orange high C syrup. Uh huh. Can you guys just put that in the shake? No, because we can't get the syrup out of the bag by itself. It goes through the pipes, and the only exit point is it is uh, with the soda. 
So yeah, there's no way I can single that out. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, James. Wow, you kind of got a personal relationship going on James, there. Yeah. I think that was one of the longer McDonald's conversations I've yeah. been witness to. Oh, I talked to some lady in Hawaii about the, the taro pies. How oh, wow. I talked like Sometimes 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, isn't it isn't it poi? And she's like, no, it's purple. And I kept thinking it was white. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I, I answer the phones at my purple. work now, and I kind of have a fast food thing. And I would be happy to talk to somebody <laughs> on the phone for longer than I would have to. It would keep me from doing it actual work right i was a telemarketer for a while and like when people try to hassle you and like ask you inane questions that was my favorite part of the job you start chatting with them yeah, yeah. Just, you have normal nice. conversation yeah nice Cause, like i didn't really care if they bought theater tickets or not i just wanted to not have to make any more phone calls so like talking to people about the weather or whatever yeah it was nice i gotta work i will do that i yeah, will yeah, do yeah. that for people that call us like i'll say so where are you calling from anyway yeah i mean they're like just chicago doing their job. into the phone yeah. louisiana so what's what's it like out there right now? Blah 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 yeah. blah. I gotta yes, find a fan. We have a personal relationship there for a small time, right. and I never I never mean to them. No, when I no get they're calls, just doing I their job. I yeah, I never mean yeah. to them. I don't have a fan that started on fire. Sorry. The f your fan started a fire. The, yeah. the spinning fan. Yes. Oh, what happened? What? I don't know. It just like it jammed up or something, and then caught on fire. It it was actually on f like flames on it. There or? were flames coming out of the back of it. Yeah. Whoa. I'm terrible with small appliances. I've started two back. I have never fires. seen that. What? I've never set <laughs> really? a fire. That's crazy. Yeah, small appliances and I don't get along very well. How did you set a fire, a fan on fire? Did it, was there someone stuck in it, keeping it from moving or something? I don't know. I don't know. I came like I came back in the other room because I smelled smoke and it was on fire. Does it smell like rubber? The vacuum? The vacuum? Yeah. It smelled like rubber and burning hair. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's what is the problem with all your appliances. Well, what will happen is you get the motor still spinning, mm -hmm. and you got the rubber that breaks, and then it sits against something that uh, spins. It could be the hair. It could be the, the hair. Friction Maybe you just uh, all your hair is coming. No, I'm just a bad vacuumer because, like, my theory for vacuuming is if it's small enough, the vacuum will scoop it up. If it's too big, the vacuum will push it away. Uh oh. But there's like that middle part <laughs> where it just gets stuck. <laughs> you all move. You all move. All stuff. No, I'm not. I don't do that. I can't understand what you're saying, Kenny. Let's get a broom or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking sandwich cheese. If you just get a broom, you just kind of sweep everything first before you yeah, get all the stuff. Yeah, but if you've got a carpet and you got a broom and you go like this, it goes. Yeah, it's and gross. all the stuff just like flings everywhere. Yeah, well, that's the point. And then you vacuum it all up after that. You get all the big stuff off of the broom and then you vacuum and get all the small stuff. <laughs> Kenny, did you notice I mowed my lawn? Mm, no, but that's good. <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, Saturday. I don't really see the lawn too much. I kind of want to walk around. Yeah, there. I mean, it's kind of parked next to it. Oh. When I was a kid, uh, my parents bought a shag carpet. Oh. You ever seen one of those? Yes, I have. Yeah, they, you get a rake for them. Huh. You have to rake the carpet. It's That's got these awesome. little, uh, short little round kind of little things in you. <laughs> and then you can do like the Japanese sand patterns. Yeah, we, That's cool. we did that. It was fun. I think the novelty wore off after about a month. <laughs> well, uh, no, we're it's the final your turn to rake the carpet. Yeah. The final the dice game, we, we, there's no ringer for it. Yeah, we already have our numbers. Okay. So don't show the numbers as soon as you guess the wrong one. Oh, she already saw. I already pointed it out. The three on my knee. It's a three knee. Okay. Knee three. All right, you want to roll, Angie? Three on the knee. Uh, no, I'm not going to bend over that far. Sorry. Here it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh-oh. I think my mic is turned up too high. Uh-oh, I think this thing is right out of batteries. Uh-oh, that's freaky. Oh, crap. Silence. Yeah. We can't have that now. So uh, I'll just kind of... What, right out of batteries? I'll hum a song. Oh, wave, wave machine. machine. It's a... Oh, it's a six. Darn. Let me see. Where is it there? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh. For a second there. Yeah, there, there it go. is. Yeah, six. It's a six. Oh. We lose it. We all lost. I lost. And then we, me and Dan won the first one, though, right? Wow. We're winners. We both chose three. We both won. And it makes Angie the loser of the game of the day. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's just how the dice. That's the rule of the dice. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I gotta go to work. Talk to you later. Oh, it was right. nice meeting you. Yeah, Dan, yeah, and you've been trying to meet you for some reason. Yay! Well, oh, okay. hopefully I'll see you again. 
she's in the studio or she lives at the studio behind the couch not really I think I lost my scale forever Kenny your scale I oh think no. it's gone how much is it the fancy one you get at the Goodwill you buy it from the store oh it was the uh, I got it on sale but I've been waiting to get this one I've been waiting for this one to go on sale for like like six months was it digital yeah oh it's all glass it's got a glass top Great big giant blue digital things. You don't need and to be weighing yourself. It lights up the bathroom. You turn off the light, you tap the scale, oh, and wow. it lights up the bathroom. I hear, I hear that you shouldn't be worried about that. You know, you should more, just worry about your health. No, I just really like it. Oh yeah. I don't stand on it. I don't want to. It's glass. I don't want to break it. I'm you kidding. don't stand on it. I'm kidding. So I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't need to weigh yourself though. Just, just you know you feel okay and not if not unless you're getting crazy. Well, crazy, but. what? What what it's really convenient for is it is accurate to within 0.1 pounds, yeah. a tenth of a pound. So you're measuring how much? Uh, well, no, you can uh, you can weigh all kinds of stuff. You you hold on to the thing, and you stand on the scale, and then you st get off the scale. You put the thing down, then you stand on it again, and you can divide out your own weight and come up with the weight of an item if you're not sure what it is. What are you weighing? Uh, well, I bought some I bought some dumbbells and I wasn't sure <laughs> how much they weigh were. Them? Yeah, I wasn't sure. Well, I'm curious how much am I, you know, lifting. There's no number on the thing? Well, there's the bar. The bar has a certain weight, so I wasn't sure what the final weight was. Five pounds. Um, bar is five pounds, 12, right? 12, yeah. I got, oh, the bar is I've 12 pounds. 12 pound so. ones. Well, no, the bar isn't 12 pounds, but the whole, the weight altogether, I want to know, you know, what, what it is I'm doing. So that was just one thing. Um, uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh, uh, sending stuff to my sister. I send care packages oh, to the family. Oh, post office, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, and I want to know how much it weighs. And if it's less than a pound, if it's only two, three pounds, it's not as accurate. So... All right. But I really like it. I like it. I just, I, I really like it, and I want it back. So, so there. It's the end of the show, everybody. We did it again. It's 27 seconds left, and we're going to close out the show. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for coming. Oh, on. yeah. It's great to be here. Uh, I guess I enjoy talking about shit that I like to talk about. We're going to be going to the uh, procession of the species. If you want to see that, if you want to show up to that, we're going to be shooting that from you the rooftop. Oh, we're in the same place as last year? Yeah. yeah. You can come to that if you want. You're I will be Saturday. in Portland. Oh, Portland. You're going to miss the procession, huh? Uh, I will probably be in a hot tub or drinking uh, alcohol at that point. All right. Or both. Hopefully both. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks, Facebook. We're on there. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on the phone. Email us on the email system. This is the date. It's the 22nd. Or 23rd, I mean. Thanks, crew. You want to be on the crew? There's people are on the crew. Thanks, viewers. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, the Bay Bay. Hell yeah, dog. Bye bye. Okay, thanks for watching the show. We loves ya. Well, I loves ya. Yeah, Kenny no, doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what Kenny feels. I know he feels something, but I feel love. Yeah. <laughs>